Pastor George Porcard, and this is another Higher Things video short. Kobe and what we learned from him. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Hey, if you love our videos, if you are learning about your Christian faith in places you never expected to learn about your faith from, a Missouri Synod Lutheran pastor, Kobe, and his Jack Russell Terrier named Thor, go ahead and like and subscribe today. You can also go to support.higherthings.org and give today your tax-deductible gift. Keeps Higher Things, a youth organization, all about supporting parents and pastors and uh, lay leaders in passing on the faith to the next generation. That's what this is all about. It's about passing the faith to the next generation. So these videos are about anything we can do to help anyone pass the faith to the next generation. And if you're a young person, it's about you believing Sudden death yesterday of Kobe Bryant. Um, just an amazing individual. A, uh, uh, Hall of Fame basketball star. He was um, an icon for his time. My son, my my oldest son was very upset that he Kobe died because that was his childhood hero. Culturally, Kobe was known for... Um, his great work ethic, amazing work ethic. First to, first to the training, first to the uh, basketball facility, uh, facility, last to leave. And young people even grew up. If you shoot a piece of paper across the room, and it goes into the trash can, you yell Kobe, just like I did earlier when the young pup. Nothing but net. Kobe was a Christian, practicing Catholic, went to Mass in the morning, took his uh, 13-year-old daughter with him in the helicopter. His daughter uh, supposedly was going to be an amazing bas a woman's, a girl's basketball player. And something happened, and we don't know what, what happened, but the, the helicopter went down and no one survived. And this was one of those things where outsiders may have looked at the situation and gone, okay, why are, why is everyone mourning someone who nobody knows really? But we felt like we knew Colby. We've, we've, we felt like, or wanted to know Colby. We knew not only of him, but of his work, his second career. He was making movies. He was already an award-winning uh, movie producer and director. And so we felt like we knew him. We grew up with him. What we learned about him, about his death, is something we learned about his life. Colby was um, a great quote about living life to the fullest because uh, you never know when it's gone and you want to leave nothing behind. And that sounds like sort of pop culture nonsense, but no, it's true. Each day is a gift from God. Each day is to be lived loving and caring for those around you. Each day is to be spent with those you love, cherishing those times, spending time with people and living each day as if today could be your last day because it could be, it might be. We don't know how long each of our days are. Our days are known only by the Lord God and he in his great mercy can take us at any time to be with him forever. And so each day is spent doing things you love. Each day is spent loving others. Each day is spent cherishing others. Don't think that you have time to reconcile with those around you when you may not. And so that's the legacy, I think, the best legacy that Colby gives us is the teaching us to cherish the gift of life. The gift that we have as Christians, the gift and opportunity to love each other, the gift and opportunity we have to, to be at peace with one another. My fault. Oh, it was a perfect video until I missed that one. But I mean, it's, it's life is short. Life is a gift. Eternal life goes on forever. But this life, this life should be spent with each day being gift and each day with your kids, with your grandkids, with your, with your friends and your best friends. Each day should be spent loving those around you while there's still time. Because there may come a day where there isn't time anymore. And, and one other thing. 
Hi, buddy. My squeaksters here. One other thing. Kobe was not perfect. Kobe made mistakes. Kobe was sued for being inappropriate with someone. And he didn't deny that he had done the thing. He denied that it wasn't consensual, but he went to his priest, confessed his sin, and looked at life like, well, God has forgiven me and it's time to move on. God has forgiven my sins and it's time for me to move on. And used that failure in his life as a gift to be more involved in church. Not like penance. I didn't pick that up as penance. But as, as simply, we all fail and we all receive forgiveness. And one day soon, we will stand with Kobe and his daughter before the judgment seat of Christ. And there we will all be judged, not by the good or the bad we've done or how we've made up for our mistakes. We'll stand before the judgment seat of Christ and Christ, our Savior, will save us because he already has right now, here and now. And then we will be always with the Lord. I'm Pastor George Borkart and the Thormeister. And this has been another Higher Things video short.